Welcome back to Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Pop Heroes number 275, Batman. This is the special Batman 80 Years collectible pop. As you can tell, this is from the 89 movie that Tim Burton directed. Very cool. I really love the design on this box. Uh, completely black box all the way around with silver lettering. Very cool. The only thing that could have possibly made it better would have been if they would have did gold on the inside of the uh, Batman symbol instead of silver. But still very cool. I saw this at GameStop and I had to have it. Very nice. As you can see there in the bottom, Batman 80 years, celebrating his 80th year in DC Comics. Right there on the back, very nice. This is Batman 1989. Does it say that on the front? Yes, it does. It says Batman 1989 right on the front there. See that? Very small print. And again on the sides, there's that side. You can make it out a little bit better right there. And the back. All right, now let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look at the Dark Knight. So I grew up at a time when Batman was the most popular he had ever been. Uh, I couldn't go to school without seeing a Batman t-shirt. Someone wearing the Tim Burton design uh, logo on their t-shirt or sweatshirt uh, from the 89 movie. I had one. A uh, friend of mine had one. Uh, just about everyone I knew had some sort of Batman shirt. That's how popular this movie was. I think I was in uh, first grade when the film came out. And then it really he reached popularity when I got into second grade. Uh, <clears throat> but this was the definitive Batman for an entire generation. Uh, before this, the only representation of Batman you had was the very campy Adam West version, uh, which I loved the Adam West version of Batman 2, don't get me wrong, but when this came out, I was like, yes, that is my Batman. So you can see, he's got the gold belt that Michael Keaton wore, and the rubber suit with the Batman symbol. Um... You think the crest on the uh, on Batman symbol there is actually different than the logo they used for the movie. As you can see, the logo for the movie right there it has just one point there at the tail, but. I am very pleased that they got this screen accurate. Uh, the extra two points off to the side represent a bat's feet just kind of hanging there. It's very cool. I'm glad they got that screen accurate. Uh, the little padding on the back of his hands. Uh, the gauntlets being almost a separate piece. The batarang. I love the look of that cape too. It just kind of blowing in the wind. Very nice. They got the black grease paint around his eyes. Very cool. They got the indented sides around by the uh, ear pieces. Very cool. And the molding for his pecs and abs in the suit really nice his head does turn all the way around I'm I'm kind of torn on this one guys I he would look good displayed either way either in the box or out of the box I, I have to say though that me being an in the box collector and with his box looking so awesome with that black and silver design 
he, he's going back into the box, unfortunately. And he's going to be, be displayed like that. But really, he looks too good. He, he could be displayed either way. Um, this is a must-have collectible for Batman fans, for Funko Pop fans. This is the only Batman Pop I would actually willingly pay for. Uh, unless, of course, they came out with a Batman Beyond Funko Pop. Uh, I, I, I would buy that. But Batman, they've just so oversaturated Batman um, in Funko Pop form with the different styles of Batman, different costumes, the uh, the villains with their Batman costumes and just the imposters. I mean, uh, it's just really oversaturated, overdone. But this one right here is the one I would willingly pay for, and I did. Now, maybe we could get them to come out with the uh, Batman Returns Catwoman and Penguin Pops. That'd be pretty cool. Or even the 89 Joker. Uh, just please, whatever they do, do not give us the Clooney Batman with the bat nipples. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.